All right, so today there was some sort of global IT outage and I didn't even catch it. You know why? Because I was at work. No matter what happens in the world, I go to work. I do the best I can to help people in the mental health field, to help their lives get better. And sometimes I come out of work like I did today and I talk to my son and I'm like, what in the world happened? He's like, you didn't hear that? All the planes are grounded. I don't know if all the planes were grounded, but a lot of planes were grounded and nobody could go anywhere. Something about Microsoft, something about there's a blue screen and nobody can go anywhere. And I am thought, hmm, wow, the day after the Republican National Convention when Donald Trump spoke, I wonder what this has to do with anything. And the bottom line on this is I don't want to get in conspiracy series. I want to watch these videos. We have two of them here today. But I do wonder what it did to people sitting at airports trying to get home or get to a destination and they can't go anywhere. You can't just be rebooked. You can't be pushed to the next flight. There's no flights if the screens are off, but were they really off? Without further ado. Here we go. Global IT outage grounds planes and sends broadcasters off the air even. Boy, if you are just waking up, this is something to kind of sit up and pay attention yep. to. This is having impacts around the world and it's all sorts of major industries where you're seeing problems with this. We'll go into detail in just a moment on this, uh, but it's something that started overnight in Australia and kind of rolled around the globe. Mm. We have seen some impacts from uh, a lot of different places in the markets. So right now you do over. see some red arrows. What's happening? and uh, both the Dow down by about 85 points, NASDAQ off by 38, the S&P 500 down by four. Treasury markets at this point, if you want to take a look, you're going to see that uh, right now it looks like the Treasury yields. Actually, you can see in the bottom of your screen, 447 is where I don't know about all that. you see the two-year. I don't have enough money to know about all that. Ten year, but all of this kind of busy waiting working. to see what happens with a big story that's uh, on global what IT. What is the story? Uh, Andrew, why don't you take over with this Thank now? You. Because this is the big issue right here. We can't really talk we about the markets or anything else without Forget talking the about right this now. first. Um, let's talk about uh, what is going on here this morning. Uh, for those of you who may not have access to your computers uh, or potentially email or other things, Microsoft and cybersecurity from CrowdStrike suffering major outages overnight. Uh, it's leaving businesses, including- I don't know what CrowdStrike is. Uh, CrowdStrike CEO, this is not a security incident or cyber attack. Well, what is it? Financial firms, airlines, emergency services unable to access their computer systems. Microsoft uh, said that its issue began just before 10 p.m. Eastern time. That's last night. Now the company determined the cause and restored service. Many users still reporting issues. We've got some ourselves. Uh, NBC <laughs> has confirmed that a CrowdStrike update is also causing widespread computer disruptions. The company blaming an issue uh, with the latest update and said that it was in the process of rolling it back globally. But how quickly all of that happens, of course, is the question. Yeah, and, and this, I think, just shows the weaknesses and the, the points where you have a problem. We've seen yep. this with other attacks that have happened and things that have been taken down. This is not a cyber attack. At least right. there seem to be no indications of this. Okay. It looks like it was a problem with CrowdStrike and a new like release a that they rolled out that had problems and that right. rolled through. But when everything's in the cloud, everything gets... We are all interconnected. Everything gets shut yeah. down by this. You're talking about uh, hospitals. Y'all, this is what can make us crazy in life. When everything's in the cloud, when everything's on a card, you know, you don't have cash running as much anymore. You have credit and you have cards and you have virtual money everything can be shifted altered adjusted taken away crashed whatever and here we are i wonder what this does to people's psyche to say well what's next then because this is my immediate thought well if this can happen then what else could happen you know if the markets can get shut down if a grid can get shut down electricity turns off we see that in houston just like recently a hurricane came through a tropical storm and um hurricane actually and for three four five days power was out after that people can't get to the store they can't get the stuff they need they can't get the gas they need and it creates tons of problems when grids are shut down same with this so not a cyber attack gets we are all interconnected everything gets shut yeah. down by this you're talking about uh, hospitals as you mentioned before you've got uh, retailers that have been yep. shut down this by this communications companies media yep. companies so airlines major banks and you are going to wake up and probably have some issues with this if you are thinking that you've got business as usual and you're off to a place like the airport right. yeah. well we can only hope at 6 a.m i'm hoping when people get to the office this morning though they're and my son tony who works at a small business um nearby you know he said our the way we type in product and sell things to people the computer basically to process payments and stuff worked fine but the check-in for them on the computer system they used to check in and log themselves in 
it was a part of this. And so they had to like paper write themselves in for the day. So even small businesses get affected by this if you're on the wrong software, I guess. There are obviously some people at the office already who are having the problems that we may be having. Uh, Phil LeBeau this morning is in uh, Cardiff, Wales. I uh, want to get over to him. Uh, good morning. Hey, Andrew, we've been watching this over the last several hours as it's played out. I've got a little bit of good news for you. American Airlines, about 20 minutes ago, lifted the ground stop for mainline flights for American Airlines. Okay. So that's domestic as well as transatlantic and around the world, as well as SkyWest regional flights that are operated for American Airlines. So both have lifted the ground stop. Those flights should start taking off as scheduled, but ground stops still remain in effect for a number of other airlines, Delta and United. I've reached out and talked with United several times this morning. They are working on the issue. No indication when it will be resolved. The FAA has also put out a statement within the last 15 minutes saying that it is working with a number of airlines that have requested a ground stop because of the IT issues that they're experiencing. And then over here in Europe, Ryanair is telling people, show up to the airport three hours early. Who oh, knows wow. how long it's going to take to Who go knows? through ticketing to get you on the plane for the plane to take off. If you take a look at a flight aware map of flights over Berlin, it's basically empty. So wow. the, the ripple effect is being seen in terms of global travel. But again, the, the, if there is some good news this morning, at least a little bit of good news, it's that American, the first of the major carriers that was under a ground stop, has now lifted its ground stop. Guys, back to you. Okay. Wow. Phil, thank you for that. And we're going to be checking in on all sorts of industries this morning to try to understand how they are being. So that's video one. I have another video to do, but this, you know, can cause, can you imagine your work, you're traveling somewhere, or let's say you're trying to get back home and you're stuck somewhere and you have no idea. All you are is inconvenienced. And so that's where people go with it. Now this next video, I don't even know what this is. This looks bizarre. This looks like a lot of data for me to look at. CrowdStrike blew up the internet. So at around 10 p.m. Pacific time on July 18th, 2024, there was a post on the CrowdStrike subreddit. They say BSOD or blue screen of death error in the latest CrowdStrike update. Mm. And they're asking, hey everyone, is anyone else currently being affected by this whole blue screen of death outage? presumably from the CrowdStrike agent. Hey, computers, workstations, and servers that were using CrowdStrike Falcon sensor, that EDR, XDR, endpoint detection response agent, but that started to catch fire. It was <laughs> presumably imploding, is really the word that I think might fit best here. Everyone's saying, hey, it's stuck in a boot loop. It won't be able to get past the blue screen of death, and that's taking down servers, workstations, mm. organizations, enterprise, industry sectors. You can see folks saying, wow. hey, uh-oh, this is affecting us on a Friday, and it's taken out an airport or a bank or whatever mm -hmm. state, municipality, government, 911 things. I don't know. You really, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Hey, are you affected from this? Let me know in the comments down below or whatever. And this is uh, kind of crazy. It's wild to see maybe a good portion of the internet just Look sort of- that. That. choke and fall over thanks to this. Uh, we could scroll through it all on uh, Reddit if we particularly wanted to, but I did want to note, look, I was trying to scream and shout about this on Twitter or X as it was all unfolding. Sorry. I like his Pac-Man shirt. I mean, that's a pretty cool shirt he's got on. But when stuff like this happens, it's like we all go to social media, the internet, Reddit, wherever, to try to figure out what's happening. But sometimes my fear is things can just be shut down and we don't, we can't do anything about it. And then we're in survival mode. And that's what I worry about in our world today, that people I uh, don't think are aware of how fragile everything can be sometimes. Sometimes things are so fragile. All right, quick cut. Before we go too much further into the video and the explanation in the background, I would love to walk through this thread on, hey, some of the actual places that have been affected by this. What the blue screen of death boot loop across all these endpoints with CrowdStrike really means. There's been a very cool thread from SciFi10 who shared this, uh, as well as Troy Hunt's kind of messaging and reporting out on that. There is a lot in that one if you want to dig into mm -hmm. it. But the videos here to think of like, uh-oh, what's going on? Is this a cyber attack? Uh, some folks 
folks over at Vegas at the scene at the Cosmopolitan. Never the hotel re uh, reservations there, they can't check in. But if you actually take a look at the video, and I'll play this, audio might be rough, we'll see. Look at the blue screen at death. Oh, it's behind them there, yeah. Good job, guys. Oh, that's crazy. That is so crazy. It's just bonkers. Uh, and then a lot and people get irritated. They get bothered. I, I want people to know that, you know, all the people working there, they don't know what, th it's not their fault. They can't do anything about it. But we sometimes are so expect in this day and age of technology and social media and connectivity, we so expect to get what we want now. I just want to check in. Let me check in that we will take down whoever we need to, to try to get there. And there's nothing they can do about it. The second thing I want people to know is we need to have backup systems to be ready for, and I don't mean computer systems even, but procedures or processes to still help people even when this stuff happens. But think about it, you go to a hotel, your room's on a key, pad, key card, so, Everything now is so digital that this could shut everything down. A lot of folks have been thinking, uh oh, is it Microsoft? But no, it is the communication uh, and CrowdStrike in this issue here. Dubai Airport. CrowdStrike. Uh, everybody just kind of hanging around. You can't quite see the blue screen of death issues, but obviously, this is very, very frustrating for folks out traveling right now. First report of an actual outage that I saw. This is Ontario. Um, Delta flights have all been, I think, grounded and canceled. If you search, there are countless people stranded at hotels, airlines, credit card processing, so many online services down completely. It's wild to see how much of that is just absolutely reliant on the tech that we use. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, but like to think that, oh, the security component, like a CrowdStrike EDR, XDR, is when a lot of this comes to life. And why Combinator News chatting about it? Wow, look yeah. at this. Workplace and a lot of people reporting about this. Sorry, I didn't mean to, I, I re recorded the rest of this video before this part. And now that I realize, uh oh, this would be really neat to showcase the visuals here. Um, I wanted to make sure that this got in, but that way you can see the absolute craziness of multiple planes stuck on the tarmac due to oh, this wow. crowd strike issue. So I rough. think that helps Look paint the picture that. as to what is really going on and how this uh, affects the world and why this is such a big deal. Yep. This is all LAX too. This is all Los Angeles International Airport. Do they actually have the video there? They do. Uh, Raw's global, blue screen of death all over folks saying airport is hacked, but it's just a blue screen of death. That's wild to see. I'd never heard about Cheesy that videos before. Here. Blue screen Ryan of Air, death. Ryanair, Manchester Airport, Edinburgh Airport, disruptions at Amsterdam Airport, Israel Central Bank, CrowdStrike issues affecting banks, live broadcasts in Australia. Folks chatting about this, just a picture here. And oh, they referenced mine. Excellent, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and that's probably quite a hit to uh, the line mm. graph for that stuff. <laughs> Hong Kong Airport, KLM, Sweden. This is going to be ginormous news. Supermarkets going cash only in Sydney. And it's funny because there's different businesses I've been in in the last year or two or three that are cashless, no cash. So they would be stuck, not going to do any business. We need to have some kind of alternate way of doing things. Now, I'll be the first to admit, I don't have a CrowdStrike virtual machine. I couldn't really test, I couldn't experiment, I wouldn't see this personally with my own computer and keyboard and mouse. It just wasn't something that I got to viscerally see in front of me, other than people screaming and shouting across the internet, Twitter, and Reddit. But I did want to try to help spread the word and see this unravel. I tried to post over on Twitter about 11 o'clock, as it's just getting to that time. And uh, the messaging that came out that was presumably just available then, as folks were chatting about- now my big question in this somebody like me is not as affected by it because i'm a small business owner and i kind of stay in a simple life here but i wonder if people think this is either something that they're not talking about you know it is a conspiracy it is some kind of cyber attack or is this a symptom of a bigger problem is something else about to happen is somebody testing out something i want to know if if there are potential uh, conspiracy things i don't like to get into that but when i talk about my job every day, there's, there's a lot of people, I think, that look at social media and get lots of ideas about what's happening in the world and run with them. 
So I like to try to stay in the concrete, in the factual, in the reality of things, not in the guessing game of things. I don't know anything about this, but I do know if something like this could happen, what if something bigger happened? About it, and if you wanted to look through the replies, you could see it. That was behind a login portal, and I'll include the link if that's helpful for anyone in the video description alongside the Reddit page, uh, but you would need the access that you would have being a CrowdStrike mm. customer that I do not have. Um, a lot of folks were able to share that, but at the time of writing, it seemed like that was just, hey, we know it's happening, we're aware, but they didn't have any other details. Now, you tuning into this video, you probably might be a little bit more pertinent on, okay, how can we actually fix this? If you are someone who has now woke up to a Friday morning full of blue screens of death, an entire <laughs> outage, uh, sorry, my heart goes out to you, apologies, but, uh, it sounds like what at least the first gut reaction as a workaround and fix was, hey, actually renaming the drivers folder and path in C Windows System 32 slash drivers slash CrowdStrike was the original name. You could change it to a CrowdStrike.temp or .hotfix or Band-Aid, whatever, and then that would not end up loading the driver. Some folks mm. are saying, hey, that works. Good for them. Happy to hear it. It cool. will work. Blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's worth noting, though, if you were to try to run this command from a safe mode, like, hey, you boot into safe mode, select the advanced startup options, and then run with command prompt, then you could enter this PowerShell syntax to rename item, or ren is the old school cmd.exe DOS command. So that syntax is available for you. But if you were to do that, then that would basically mean CrowdStrike can't properly load its driver, so it's all security capability, XDR, EDR, whatever, is just kind of out the window. So that's less ideal, yeah. but we did get to see like some it. folks chatting about this. Brody, the director of Overwatch over at CrowdStrike. So, hey, someone on the inside, someone with more of the details, they're saying, hey, we actually are tracking this down. Of course, it is Brody. actually a faulty channel file, so not quite a full-blown update. And there is a workaround that's a little sharper, that's a little bit more accurate than, oh, renaming the entire driver's file and folder's path. If you boot into safe mode, again, as the only thing that you can do, and I will note, if you have BitLocker encryption, that's totally not doable, and I'm sorry, unless you can get, hmm. enter the key. I think I saw some folks chatting about that. Again, all the links in the video description if that's helpful for you. But go navigate to the driver's CrowdStrike folder and then locate and delete any of the files matching C hyphen 00000291 asterisk dot sys. So removing any of those bad uh, channel files. And he's noting that, look, uh, we're tracking this. Uh, no need to apologize because I was saying, hey, thanks so much, Brody. It's good to see you. Thank you for <laughs> jumping in. I love it. And they say, I'm sorry, we can't give you too much more right now, but that's the gist. Uh, they are like locking this down. So now there are no updates that are going out or changes being made to hosts that will actually push that faulty driver or channel files. So mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about it if you're late to the party. If for whatever reason you didn't have blue screens of death and you're using CrowdStrike, then cool, you're Keep in the clear. Hopefully that's- like They don't know where and why and how but what happens next what happens next and when do you wait for the next blue screen of death or the next crash that happens where you can't access it because if i'm flying i just can't imagine the anxiety that hits people have anxiety already flying but when you can't get on a plane or you're on the tarmac you're stuck out there on the runway and you can't move or you can't get back home, the panic. Panic. A-OK, -okay, but they are obviously Anxiety. firing off all sirens, bells, alarm whistles, and trying to fight this thing. So hug ops, big shout out support to the folks that are, I, I know, uh, you know, you, you kind of have both sides of the coin here as folks that are obviously distraught and outages and upset, but they are people really fighting fires to uh, make sure that they can put this back in place. Mm -hmm. I will say, though, I did have to meme just a little bit. Just a little bit. I did have to have a little bit of fun. <laughs> the best way that you can clean up some of those faulty channel files is if you actually were to run del or del. Again, that should work just fine as the old school cmd.exe command. Or if you're in PowerShell, that will work properly as a remove item alias. So del c colon backslash system32 drivers crowdstrike blah 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 asterisk dot sys. Hopefully that'll mm -hmm. clean it up and then you can boot as normal. Now, uh, some folks were also noticed 
recording. Oh hey, this goodness. is taking off uh, and really bringing down a significant amount of infrastructure. Uh, again, airports, banks, whatever the case may be. I know flights were just kind of being routed. And I can't say, I don't know. I, I did try to say, look, I don't know if this is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So let me say this with a grain of salt and take it what you will. Correlation is not causation, but down detector. We're certainly seeing a lot of stuff just starting to fall off the face of the internet. So <laughs> mm. I'd love to get your hot take. Let me know. Now, I don't want to be rambling for too long, but I did still want to help try and get the messaging out, spread awareness. Hopefully there is something. This guy's done a really good job with this, just covering all the bases. You could tell he's really smart. He knows what he's talking about and trying to be helpful to everybody. Kind of like I would do with mental health, but he's doing it with this to try to help people get unstuck. Remotely valuable in this video. And again, the just tracking of the Reddit thread, Twitter, anyone screaming and shouting about that. I did try to get it out on LinkedIn. I know this is still like emerging, breaking as of two hours. So we'll see how it all comes to life in the rest of Friday and the whole rest of the weekend. Um, it sounds like there are a lot of cinders and embers and there's quite some wildfire mm -hmm. with this. Uh, I don't know if this tweet and messaging will kind of go out across the open internet. I see well, folks tagging accidental. me on like BBC stuff and raw mm -hmm. news alerts and some screaming and shouting. But uh, hope again, we can really, really, really bring the uh, praise to yeah. CrowdStrike. And I know that sounds so weird. I know that sounds like, hey, poo poo, that th this is a big problem, but it is going to take real people. <laughs> He's to really being nice about this. Just, hey, let's not be too hard on people. We'll figure this thing out. I still want to know if there's any conspiracy happening potentially or is this something that could happen easily again? Or do people just say, I don't know, maybe. Solve the problem and fix it. So a heart goes out to all of those folks and let's just keep on doing what we do in the old cybersecurity and technology landscape. The notifications just keep going though, if I may say. Uh, kind of starting to see this thing blow up. Internet catching on fire of, whoops, the crowd it's strikes. Bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm super interested in the root cause analysis. Uh, hey, I don't know, understand a little bit more about how this all came to life after the dust mm -hmm. has settled. But for now, in the moment, you know what? Let's just all try to make sure folks are aware how they can work around it, hopefully fix it, and then send our best to CrowdStrike. Yeah, this is a... Uh, Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Wow. This was way over my head in terms of knowing what all of this is about. But the anxiety that's felt, I mean, we had, my wife was telling me today, she had a client today that was stuck in another state. And she said, I'm supposed to be on a plane right now to, to get back to Houston and couldn't get back in time to see Jill. And so she had to talk to her in the airport on the phone. So... It, it creates a lot of anxiety. I think it creates a lot of stress and it also creates a lot of questions for people of like, well, if this could happen so easily, then what could happen next? Please tell me your thoughts, especially if you know something about it. And were you a part of this? And was it stressful? Pfft, was it? St what a stupid question. That was really dumb. Now, was it stressful? How stressful was it? And do you feel safe enough that it's a one-time thing? It's probably just not going to happen again. It will be all good. Leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. Mental health matters. Don't forget it. We'll see you on the next Reaction Therapy.